Hi, welcome back with the TSDZ2. So as some of you might be aware, there is a bit of a, a lag issue that, um, all right, I'll try to explain it. So when you take off, there's probably about a half a second or so lag from the time you press down on the pedal to the time the motor starts providing you with power. Now that actually gets a lot worse at higher speed. Um, so we've kind of come to a bit of a conclusion as to why that happens. Um, some people estimate it's two seconds, but in actual fact, it's it's a lot less than that. But it is it is noticeable. So if you are cruising along at a certain speed and then decide to back off, and then try to take off again, there is a little bit of lag there. So we've kind of identified that it may be related to the way that the controller actually ramps up. So there is a um, a duty cycle ramp up that is normally set to uh, to 75 now it's actually like an inverse thing so 75 means it ramps up slowly I've changed it to 25 which means it should ramp up three times quicker alright if that's the case so instead of getting a, a 1.2 second lag we're gonna get down to about a 0.4 second lag um, the only issue that we could have is that when you take off it's going to ramp up a lot quicker which means you might see extra um, extra power, extra load on the chain. And that's kind of the things we're, we're afraid of. So it's just something I'm going to test now. I'll let you know how it goes. So, um, so that uh, setting is in config.h if you wanted to try that yourself. And um, yeah, we'll just see how that goes. First test would be just to take off from a standing start. Now I've put it on a relatively like high assist level. I've programmed that to to quite high but what I have done is put a limitation on there to make sure it doesn't go beyond 300 watt so just as a bit of a safety I don't like it sort of overshooting to a thousand watt anyway so we're going to take off so one two three whoa so that was like almost immediate takeoff I didn't notice any lag at all a um, bit hard because I'm holding the phone in one hand, but I'll just do it again. One, two, three. Yeah, it's taken off like straight away. So there's there's zero lag, zero lag. All right. What I'm going to do now is get up to like a little bit of speed, and then I'm going to stop for a little while and then take off again and see how long it takes. So obviously the higher the speed, the longer it's going to take because the motor's starting off from rest. It's got to catch up to a point where you're you know it's at the pedaling speed at the, at the pedaling cadence so depending on how fast you're going it's going to take a little bit longer but what we're going to see is that it will be quicker than normal so let's get up to some speed here it is quite windy all right so i'm going to stop pedaling now all right ready set go okay so that was like Look, it's less than a second. Before it was noticeably longer. I'll just try it again. All right, so I'm gonna stop pedaling. Now start now. And that's like almost right away. That was like 0.3. Man, you know, I'm, I'm doing these calculations in my head and it was like 0.215 of a second. No, but seriously, it's... Um, Changing that value alone to a third definitely reduces the lag by a third. So, yeah, I definitely recommend to give that a go. I'm going to take the limitation off. Okay, so as, as I told you before, I have put a limitation on the top here to limit it to 300 watt. So I'm going to turn that off altogether and just let the motor do what it has to do. Okay. All right, one, two, three. All right, so we got up to like 600 watt. Okay. Now again, it's all, um, you know, you can regulate that by how much pressure you want to put on the pedals. So it's really up to you. Obviously taking off in an easy gear is going to reduce that or doing just what I do and set the maximum, um, the maximum power. So yeah, I'm not saying that you're actually getting more power. I didn't really do this test prior to changing that, but the bike actually feels like really responsive, like super responsive. You could almost, 
you could almost feel it moving um, exactly the way that you're moving your legs. It's it's really cool actually. I can recommend um, you know give it a try. Hopefully, a casino or uh, endless cadence can put this into a development branch and uh, you can all give it a go because I think it's a really big improvement. All right, cool.